Let's take a look at the Huawei web browser. I have it installed here and you can just simply tap and click on this and it comes up with a familiar interface that you might know from Chrome and this is basically Huawei's answer to the Google Chrome browser. I have it running here on my Mate XS currently. This is why you have this square format as you can see. It has some simple reason because it is very centric to where you bought your phone. So the region that you set in your phone it's not really recognizing it. It is simply picking up where did you bought your phone. So if you bought it in New Zealand just like I have here the New Zealand stuff will show up. If you bought it in China just like my MatePad Pro or my Mate 30 Pro, all the Chinese app will show up and you don't have access to Google search engine or other known options. Uh, this is the tablet mode as you can see here because I have tabs on the top and I have some various links here as you can see Google, YouTube, Discover, App Search and I have options to even search more. Here are some recommended ones and here are some bookmarks that I have and I have some Huawei search um, or Huawei services here as well and travel and local services as well and I can go and edit this and pin certain things here if I want to and uh, yeah those options here that I have if I want to edit those then of course I can just simply also just search just like for the ZDF Heute show for example it will use the Google search by default and I have the option to just simply search for stuff here, click on links or open websites in the background in a new tab, copy the link or select the text. Let's open in the background. You can see it opens up a new tab here and I can just simply click on it and navigate through tabs in this easy manner. Of course, if I click on something, I have the option to go back as well. Of course, it has video support, HTML5 audio video support no issues with this and you can see it's pretty fast when it comes to scrolling and of course you have uh, the option to just simply reload the page you can go back one page you can go forward one page you have the address bar here you can copy um, paste and go copy cut stuff you can go to the home page if you'd like to to see your home page again of course you have some options here as well you can see also very chrome centric or chrome like you have some bookmarks in history where you can search the bookmarks or go to your history what you searched for before you can go to downloads to see all, everything that you downloaded apparently i downloaded facebook and then you have uh, the toolbox here where you have the option to block images if you want to save some volume of your mobile data for example you can say i want to always view the website the desktop site i use this um, pretty often if i want to view my studio youtube website because it has no mobile website so i can tick this uh, desktop site and uh, see my youtube stats and i have the option to go into private mode which will be, you can see the, the tab disappeared. If I go out of private mode, the tab uh, reappeared again. I can go back to my YouTube, uh, to my Google search. So the private mode uh, basically deletes everything after you left it and will not save any cookies. Then you have a night mode, which is pretty interesting. So if I go to here, you can see it is now in a night mode. So basically it is darkening the website's background and um, dimming the colors in this case it's very good for if you want to read something at night pretty nice and handy it works for almost all websites let's go to the discover website for example and we have night mode on you can see it works here as well so it also works for tabs and everything that you load even for images which is pretty nice it's dimming everything here a bit uh, i'm not sure if you can see it i hope you can see it. it is dimming the website as well um sometimes it uses some graphical effects as well that you cannot capture with screen capture but in this case i hope it is visible to you as well in the screen capture and yeah this is basically night mode as you can see and then you have some settings as well and if you go to settings you have the option to set your search engine you have two options basically bing and google this depends on your region so as i said before no matter what which region you set in your settings it will probably not change 
at least on my Mate 30 Pro and uh, Mate Pad Pro, it has only chi only Chinese uh, many, uh, um, search engines available here. A lot more than here, I think five or six. Uh, in this case, only two for Bling and Google, at least here in New Zealand. Maybe it might be different in Europe. There might be the Quant search engine as well, which is also used for pedal search, for example. Then you have the option to search for uh, passwords here. You can see I signed in with my eBay account. I can go in here and see my password and I can also say safe and uh, safe passwords. And those passwords can also be synced up with your, with your Huawei cloud if you want to. If you don't want to do this, just simply disable this or disable cloud syncing for browser. Then you have notifications. You can uh, set some notifications for news and events notifications so if something breaking news something big happens like an earthquake we had here last week i think in new zealand uh, it could notify you about this then you have uh, home page settings where you basically can set the home page that you want to have the one that i have is a default one but if i don't want a default one with the links i can set it to blank page or i can set my custom page here and just enter a url that I like to enter. Then new service, suggest news and ads you might be interested in. You can turn it off as well if you don't like this. And autoplay videos, you can say this is only working if you have, uh, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi and mobile data or never. So w very handy feature, especially if you're going uh, out and about. Uh, the Wi-Fi only option I think is the recommended one. Um, for most cases you don't want to have music starting randomly or video starting randomly playback and then you have the appearance setting where you have the standard mode or the classic mode and on my mate 30 pro and i think also the mate pad pro i'm not quite sure there the classic mode is activated by default and what this means i can show you right now um did it change anything yeah okay in the tablet mode it only changes this here so the menu looks different it's not a normal sub menu it's like an icon menu here and you can click on this uh, it's not a big change when it comes to the tablet mode but as you can see from the small pictogram there is a change when you are in the normal phone mode uh, as it will show you stuff it has a basically a top bar and a bottom bar so it will have a bar for navigation and other things at the bottom and it will have a, a top bar for the url itself and uh, this is the classic mode and the new mode the standard mode is um, top bar only with navigation keys and the uh, url bar so let's go back to here we have some browser settings as well where we can set up various different things like for example force enable zoom enable zoom for all web pages even if they are not optimized for it very handy if you are going to websites which don't offer a mobile web the page and you at least you want to have some kind of visibility of those web pages especially when it comes to mobile browsing might be not an issue in the tablet mode but in a phone mode definitely block pop-ups very important and by default it's activated it will stop websites from opening tabs in the background especially yeah some weird websites opening tabs in the background nah, 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 we don't like this you can set the browser user agents you can choose between different user agents as you can see here i can set it to ipad or computer if i'd like to visit a website uh, with a specific browser a user agent which uh, says it's blocked for mobile or something like this you can uh, use a different user agent here and you have the option for rotate screen you can set i want to lock it in a specific way also pretty handy not in tablet mode on the mate xs but in general i think in the phone mode as well this applies of course though all the settings apply also for the phone the p40 for example p40 pro ad filter i'm not sure why it's off by default maybe huawei does not want to have have problems with uh, advertisement companies but it is here an ad filter pretty handy turn it on uh, and block the pest auto close tabs so if you run the app in the background and you don't close tabs it will auto close tabs if uh, they are inactive for more than the set number of days like 30 days and we'll just close them in the background especially handy handy if you don't close them 
manually and close all tabs when exiting is also possible exiting you for you asking me there is an exit option as well where is it uh, I think it's not available interesting I think it is only available in the classic mode appearance classic and uh, then I think you have an exit button yeah exactly there you have an exit button we can just simply exit out of the browser it will close then everything and as you see in the settings by default it will also then close the uh, it will also close all tabs when exiting so also pretty handy then site settings you also have some site settings site specific settings you can set stuff for all the websites like google.com you can set i want to enable cookies for those javascript for this website i always uh, want to request a desktop site or not F so i could in theory just put in here my studio youtube and set up okay always request the desktop site don't try to even get the mobile site for this one very handy feature indeed then location you can say I want to be asked before I allow websites to um, get my location. I can also see here I didn't share any location with any website. I can go into settings here for the browser uh, application itself and also set this up for the browser in general if I don't want the browser to be able to get my location. Camera setting the same thing and uh, then uh, cookies as well i can block third party cookies if i don't want third party cookies also pretty handy i think some web browsers do this also on the desktop by default so you can uh, block third party cookies to prevent website from saving or reading cookie data i think turn this on if you have problems with certain websites contact the websites and tell them oh, third party cookies uh, do something about it and then you can turn it off temporarily as well if uh, you have issues and javascript finally you can also uh, change here you can block some uh, websites uh, that don't uh, should not use javascript and then you have some personalization options like always request the dead desktop site like i said and uh, never save passwords for a specific website for example you can set it up here as well so fine granular settings for this web browser i like it security and privacy also very important safe browsing automatically check security of websites you visit so this is like a mm, two-edged sword i would say for one thing it's a good thing because if you are inexperienced it will check if the website has malicious code in there or it's some kind of phishing website and so on it will give you a big warning and it will ask you do you really want to do this you can either say yes i want to do this or just go back uh, so pretty handy for inexperienced users on the other side it will then of course also send a request to huawei browser to the huawei um, service for checking if this is in the database of malicious uh, websites or not so huawei somehow could if they really want to get a list of the website that you are surfing or browsing onto at least they get the request and send you then back is it's yeah it's good or it's bad so you can turn it off if you are uh, privacy focused and don't want to share this data that potentially might leak to your uh, huawei then do not track websites you visit will be asked not to track your or record your data about your visit i think this is a very good option here as well and block tracking cookies also very good automatically block third-party cookies that track your user activity just like for example the facebook like button i also like this very much so you can turn this on here in the privacy settings i would recommend doing this and if you don't like safe browsing you can turn it off I'm pretty sure I don't need safe browsing, so I'm turning it off. But if you're an experienced user, uh, might be good to turn it, uh, leave it on. Clear browsing data. Here we have the option to clear the browsing data, cookies, uh, cached pages, browsing history, and so on. Site settings, passwords, um, whatever you want, you can clear here. And there are some other options as well. Restore default settings if you messed up with your settings. Uh, add some feedback if you want a new feature or something like this check for updates also pretty handy you have this option for um, sometimes you can check but usually the app gallery will update in the background anyway and the about 
you can see this is the version I'm running right now, version 10.1.0.300. It could be that newer versions will have or add some new features. This is the Huawei browser app. I think it's a pretty potentially very good alternative uh, for the Chrome web browser, especially with, with the ad blocking in built inside, which is pretty, pretty handy, I think. And I don't think the Chrome browser offers such capability. So if you have not used the Huawei browser, I think I showed you all the options available here. Give it a try. It's a very good browser, I think. Even though it doesn't have like add-on support like the Firefox browser, for example, I think it's a pretty good browser based up on the Chrome uh, Chromium Blink engine. So also the same engine that Chrome is based upon. So it should support the same kind of feature sets. That's everything for this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And see you until the next time. Bye.